King Charles may never reunite with his two youngest grandchildren, or even perhaps even Meghan and her dad as well and her kids. Uh, so Prince Harry refuses to bring his young family to the UK due to security fears. Uh, so I wonder what Meghan's excuse is for not taking her kids to see her dad. Anyway, do you think Prince Harry is being selfish? I'll start with Julie Harris. Yes, I do. And it does feel a little bit like he is doing this to make a point. You know, and he's emotionally blackmailing King Charles by saying, look, I want to get the security for when I come over to the UK for my wife and me because we feel like we're going to be attacked or whatever. Fine. And he, he's been told he can't have that. And he's kind of going, oh, then, well, if I can't have that, you can't see your grandkids. Do you think, I mean, he would argue again, like you said, it's his security yeah. and he's worried about it. So yeah, it's probably, exactly what he's doing. It is give that at all. so crazy, the fact that you've got Prince Han Andrew, who is still mollycoddled and basically, you know, wrapped in um, cotton wool still and gets security and all of this. But, he hasn't but been then you've got... Actually, Prince, Harry, um, Prince Andrew, sorry, hasn't been... He's not really felt guilty of it. I'm, I'm not even talking about the accus accusations. I'm just talking about literally, in principle, the fact that he's no longer a working royal and he still basically lives off the spoils of everything, you know, that you, you would benefit from if you were a, a working royal. Um, and I think that, you know, Prince Charles, I just I can't fathom why, if your kids are going to come and see you, King maybe... Charles. King Charles, sorry. Um, if, you can, if your kids and grandkids are going to uh, come and see you, why you wouldn't just give them security? Well, why wouldn't you just take your kids to see your grandparents? That's what I'd say. What do you think is... I'm not surprised oh, Nana Akua has it once again. I always say, I bet, I, I just wish ever she could just like found something better to do. But at the same time, I just sit down and recall, they said it. But hating on Harry and Meghan is a $1 million industry. Because her bringing about this whole point of Prince Harry has been selfish, I feel like he's doing this to make a point. Has emotionally blackmailing King. Charles, those were comments made by the political commentator Harris. Like, what the Duke of Sussex is just the surety of his safety, the surety of his family. Plus, they shouldn't be bringing about this because uh, who wants to see kids but doesn't want to see their parents? How does that happen? The fact that Charles never made an effort to meet up with Harry while he was, uh, you know, in the UK back in May to celebrate the 10th year anniversary in the name of having a fixed schedule, doing a garden party on the same day that the Duke of Sussex was having the service, like that one only spoke volumes. It really did. They aren't trying to blackmail anyone. And if Charles was for sure serious, he wants to see his grandkids. He would have just taken a private jet all the way to the U.S. and go say, I'm here, I want to see my grandkids. And see if Harry wouldn't made an effort of taking Archie and Lilibet to go see him. But the fact that he's not entitled to security, Charles went ahead and took uh, their Frogmo cottage, uh, you know, a house uh, gifted to them by the large queen Elizabeth. They shouldn't have expectations. King Charles wants to see the kids but doesn't uh, like uh, the parents. That's the problem. That's the problem statement over here. It's pretty obvious that Charles just wants attention, just wants sympathy or just wants to give the tablets a whole topic of discussion to this car. But funny thing enough, that one doesn't trigger Harry and Meghan's decision mad. If Charles is that desperate to see his grandkids, he gets on his plane and fly over to see them. Why hasn't he? Why hasn't he? He ain't serious. He ain't serious. They just want him there so that they can bully him, so that they can troll on them, so that they can have, you know, stories now that they are missing a lot. What do you have to say? I'm like, whatever Harry and Meghan's position is over their kids, I bet we should respect that and let it settle at that. That's the only way to go. Somebody commented and say, why the hell should Harry let him see his, his, his children when he told their home 
when he took their home in the UK, his grandmother wanted him to have a safe UK bus and Charlie took it away. He's failed as a father, as a grandfather. He has failed. And I don't know if he still stands a chance for redemption. I don't know if he still stands a chance for making things right, but it's too late. Charles can fly to California if he wants to see his grandchildren. If he chooses not to, then he never did want to see them like you claim. Thomas Markle is not a father nor a grandfather. He is an opportunist and the UK media feds claim. Well, that's what Thomas Markle is on that we don't debate. Nana Akur is just out of it. Like he's, she's losing in this. GB News experts with an agenda, ignoring the fact that King Charles refuses to see his son when he came to the UK in May, but want to cover up this whole story and discussion of the fact that Charles hasn't, uh, you know, gotten the chance to see has grandkids, as he claims, yet he ain't making any effort of meeting up his grandkids. Like, make that make sense. Somebody also went ahead and said, if Charles wants to see his grandchildren, he can get on his private jet and go to California. He's prepared to fly to Australia, so no issues with flying. He took away Fragmo without thinking about harry and megan now all he wants is sympathy nice try but of course it ain't work nice try but harry and megan ain't fools and won't fall for their trap harry and megan won't fall for their trap the fact that he's not ready to come to acceptance or just grant harry and megan security that's where we draw the line. Dissolve the monarchy. I cannot respect anyone who is within that institution. Because all they do is just want to harm people, want to hurt people, do what they do for the sake of personal selfish gain, for selfish purposes. The fact that Charles is not ready to do what Harry wants, then so be it. He also needs to get ready to do what Harry wants. And if they've decided of not bringing their kids, uh, speaking of the wife, uh, back to the UK, then Charles stands no chance. I'm just like on and on and on and on we go. Because Charles is just out and about getting assistance from the likes of uh, you know nana akur in getting in a pr stand in getting sympathy from uh, the public audience harry megan archie lily are all in danger in the uk the death threats are high and no parent is going to put his family in danger like that the U.S. is safer for them because they live in a country that doesn't obsess on Harry and Meghan daily. If the media did that, they would be fired. And that's why I always say they are in a non-toxified environment. And the U.S. is the safe and best place for them. Harry himself stated it. The U.S is his home and the fact that he changed his residency from the uk to the us that one should answer their question mark i don't know what you're thinking what you have to say about this kindly just let me know your thoughts on the comment section hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come